Yeah, so this check goes for um, a box where it's written Elephos, but I'm not very sure whether this is really true, so let's see what it is. Sometimes you find a box, you forgot to write something, and you have to see whether you find some signs to judge what kind of a animal it is. Now look, here's something. Whoa, but this seems to be a bigger one. Okay, also look at, um, at the pellets you find here. And what you find here is, whoa, yes, this is a really big elephos. This is an elephos larva here, that's for sure. And it's probably also a male, so let's see how heavy it is. 63 grams. Yeah. But white uh, on the top here, waiting, not in the substrate itself. So let's see, uh, we have just make a little check whether probably there is not enough material here left for the larva or she is disturbed by something. Let's see whether we can find out what happened. Oh, I see what's the problem. There's another one down here. Probably there are more than one or two. There's a group of them. Yeah, there are two more here in the box and also two big ones like this here. Also this is 84 grams and this one is 63 grams. So these are pretty big. Um, make us all more elephos. Lorry and let's see for the for the substrate here. I think there's no more there's no more wood here. Now let's go to the quickly to the bottom there we can see what they did. This is the kind of material that is made from the wooden pellets, the big pellets, uh, we put on the bottom of the cage. There are some, as you can see, some earthworms here. So what I can do now, of course, because they are now so big, I prepare a box for each of these lorry with the new, with new pellets. That's the method you know already. But this time we can add a lot of them. So that's not so bad. Uh, but of course I have to prepare other boxes for the other two lorries also. And then I fill it up with the old substrate. Like this. And of course if you if you have, now you can add here a little bit of water so that the wood blocks can suck it up a little bit, not too much. And of course if you have a big piece of a wood block or something like that, just for the larva to enjoy gnawing around it. That's it. So this is the 85 gram larva. And they completely mixed the substrate with the wood from the from the beach pellets of from the bottom. So this is kind of a completely mixed through substrate that they fabricated themselves. So that's well, probably you can also add some material. Oh, this is probably not a good idea because it was the one with the earthworms in it. So this is probably not a good idea. Try to avoid having too many earthworms. But if you have so much of a, of a beech wood in it and um, it will get a little bit of sour substrate, so that's what the, what the earthworms don't like, to have a little uh, too sour. Uh, so that's okay, I think. This is a good box, and now we need two more. So 
So these two here, um, I think I put two in a box like this and I cover it with the original material here. So I think this is a nice box for two. Make us all more LFRs here. I guess also that we can leave them in here for the next three months or so. March or April we will come back, check it again. You will be the first to know. Thanks for watching.